Hello YouTube and welcome to day 22 of my 31 day video challenge. I apologize for the mood lighting right now. I am underneath a lamppost on my way home from work. It's about 1.30 in the morning. This is all the light that I have and sadly if I did this video in my house I would wake up my sister who sleeps right next door and that would be really mean. So I am doing it outside. Um, you're probably wondering why it's so late. I worked until midnight and then had a very long commute, of which I will not bore you with right now because that would turn into a rant and there would be a bunch of swearing and yeah, it would just be bad. So we won't talk about that. What we will talk about a little bit is how to cover breaking news. And yes, I'm going to talk about this at 1.30 in the morning. Um, I got in at my shift around 4 p.m. today, and I was past this story about a chem chemical explosion at a high school. And nothing was really confirmed, so I went about trying to confirm it. I finally got a hold of police who said that, you know, five people were injured Explosion was a grandiose term, um, and it involved dry chemicals. So, you know, I wrote up a quick story. At this point, though, you know, City News had been reporting that a chemical explosion sent 17 people to the hospital, and CB24 was saying that, you know, five people were injured plus a teacher, and everyone was still using the word explosion, including us, because that's what we thought it was. <laughs> About an hour later, when I finally got a hold of the right people... Turns out that it was just a science experiment gone wrong. A teacher, woo, a little shaky there. The teacher had uh, put a draining cleaning fluid into a water bottle. They spun it, it ruptured, splashed on a bunch of students, and they took them to the hospital. Not really as big of a story as we had originally thought. But of course, at that point, you're going to run with it, right? So taking out all the words of explosions, no explosions involved. And it just goes to show how things can get so out of proportion, especially in this world of social media and how everyone wants to be the first person to report about something. Um, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, everyone's writing explosion, explosion, when in reality, the only explosion was within a water bottle in a parking lot outside of the school. So <laughs> it's strange. It's, it's hard to deal with because as a reporter, you want to get this information out as soon as possible. But at the same time, you want to be accurate and you don't want to be changing your story halfway through the process. I don't really have a solution for this yet. I think it's a live and learn thing. You just kind of have to go with your gut and use as much allegation words as you possibly can meaning yeah it could be this but we don't really know yet but we're telling you because we think it's important and that you should know you know any incident involving a school in which students are injured is absolutely in the public interest but we should probably think a little harder about using serious words like explosions until we know for sure anyways my hands are cold i'm going to go to bed good night youtube